Over the past year, there has been some concern regarding the Yellowstone supervolcano. Geologists have announced the various changes have been picked up on, and that this could be our planet's way of telling us that something is about to happen. Going back a few days ago, the United States Geological Survey said that a 7.3 magnitude earthquake hit the Yellowstone National Park 60 years ago, and to this day it remains the largest earthquake to have hit the region. The researchers have said the official recording of the earthquake is 7.3, and it happened close to the western boundary of the Yellowstone National Park. Sadly, due to how powerful it was, it caused 28 fatalities and most of these were due to a massive landslide that was triggered in the Madison Canyon. It's said that this landslide carried over 50 million cubic yards of rock, mud and debris down the south side of the canyon, and halfway up the north side. The landslide blocked off Madison River, and was actually able to form something known today as Earthquake Lake. It's not small either. Earthquake Lake is over 190 feet deep and 6 miles long. As we're approaching the 60th anniversary of the event, the United States Geological Survey has warned that another earthquake is likely going to hit the region again. Although this is bad news, they have said that an earthquake is much more likely to happen than an eruption. Jamie Farrell, a chief seismologist at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, said the following. The combination of the landslide and damaged highways trapped many tourists in the canyon that night. In addition, the sudden northward tilting of the basin caused Hebgen Lake to slosh back and forth. This is referred to as a seiche wave. The waves were so large they breached the lake's dam a few times, leading panicked tourists to think the dam had failed. Luckily, the dam did not fail and the waves eventually calmed down. As of right now, researchers have said they're keeping a close eye on the caldera, as it's been giving off warning signs. The volcano is being constantly monitored by the United States Geological Survey, and every so often they give us updates about what's going on. Researchers have said the famous steamboat has erupted seven times in June. This means that it broke the record for the shortest interval between eruptions. Data has shown that in the past 12 months over 200 earthquakes have hit Yellowstone, and this suggests that a huge tectonic plate shift has taken place underneath the surface of the Earth. As of right now, the researchers are telling everyone not to worry, as they're keeping a close eye on the data. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.